way, I do want to thank Wolf Lion. I see him in the chat. Over. Take it to the house. I'm about to touch down. Change living levels. Come on, go. Come on, go. Yeah! Welcome to Wolf Lions Sports Talk. I'm your host, Coach Mike Jones, formerly of Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on a proud YouTube channel. Shout out to Kurt Steele, LL Cool Torrance, Valerie Bordeaux, and the rest of my proud nation family. But y'all already know, man, this is for my Michigan Wolverines and my Detroit Lions. This is Team Wolf Lion. And we're trying to take over YouTube, man. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Help me get this content out to more Wolver Lion fans like yourself. And you can always comment on the videos. Actually, I prefer you to comment on the videos. Let me know what you think about the videos. Or maybe there might be a topic that you want me to cover that I haven't covered. You can always let me know in the comment section. Or if you're not a person who likes to be on the spot like that, you can kind of slide that in the email to me, Wolverine and Wolverine.net. I will always get back to you ASAP. That, that's just me, man. I'm not one of those types. Uh, and also, do one favor for me. Go over to www.wolverine.com and get you one of these all white Wolverine tees, man. They don't sell right now for ten dollars. And before you go, stop at the top of the poll on that website and vote for the Wolverine products that you would like to see next. I actually have a whole line of products, but I don't want to put nothing out there that you guys don't really want or you guys wouldn't really purchase. So just let me know. I drop a comment in the in the comment section or go up there and vote uh, and and just let me know, man, what it is. And I will have those to you at the start of the football season. So let me get into the topic that I want to discuss today. Um, as we have gotten into the first few days of padded practices, um, there's things that stuck out, like Jack Campbell's uh, aggressiveness. Um, you know, there's uh, Amon Ross St. Brown and Jameer Gibbs and, and things like that, Jared Goff's leadership. But, you know, me being the defensive line coach, Mike, Coach Mike Jones, being the varsity high school defensive line coach that I am, you already know, man, it's the D-line that just stuck out to me most in the observations that I'm making um, from the reports coming out of padded practices. And the thing that really uh, resonates with me is, is we actually have depth at the defensive line. Like, the defensive line actually might be a stronger point than the secondary, if you can believe that. Because if you look at it, we have people returning from injury um, that have a full offseason kind of under their belt. And uh, for one, Josh Pascal. Josh Pascal has turned heads uh, in these first couple of days of padded practices. But you got to remember, this is Josh Pascal's first full offseason of recovery. His last year, he didn't have a full offseason of recovery to get better. He was rehabbing that whole time. So Josh Pascal has he's had that advantage now that he's taking full that he's taking a full offseason just to get better and instead of just healing. So that is something to keep your eye on is Josh Pascal uh being that because he was a second round pick. So um that's something to look out for. Then also we have Romeo Cora. Again, Romeo Cora was rehabbing last year, right? So Romeo Cora has a full off season to get with this regime to to be to be reinserted into this uh, Lions defense. As you know, Romeo Cora was our sack leader from a few years ago. Um, so Romeo Cora offers some pass rush, and also with that size that he has, can play a little three tech as well. So he's kind of one of those tweener guys who can play inside outside, kind of like a John Kaminsky. Okay, uh, then you look at Charles Harris, who was our sack leader from the previous year. Um, so we have two back to back sack leaders. Uh, you know, returning to the season. Uh, that that's. That shows a lot of depth right there when you already add in Aiden Hutchinson and Charles Harris, now you, or Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston. Now you're adding Charles Harris and Romeo Cora. That offers depth there at that position. Um, 
And then one guy that is last and not not certainly not least, Levi Wuzarike. Uh, um he was actually our highest drafted interior defensive lineman. He um so far so good. He's healthy. Um there hasn't been any setbacks. Now we will find out more as uh, you know, they ramp up practice more and and we'll see how that back holds up after, you know, a week or two of, of colliding and padded practices and, and all those collisions. We'll see if that back holds up. But so far, so good. Um, so I really think the D-line can become a strength of um, the Lions instead of kind of the weak point. And then if you add to it, you add in Aiden Hutchinson, Eileen McNeil, James Houston, um, Isaiah Bugs, Nino Jones, that depth right there in the defensive line starts to become a positive instead of a question mark. Because what we can do now is we can platoon. And I know a lot of you guys might not know what platoon means, but platoon is when you send in a fresh group, right? You you take out um, Aiden Hutchinson and Liam McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, and maybe uh, Charles Harris. And then you put in a Josh Pascal, uh, a Romeo Cora, a Levi Anzarike, and and a Benito Jones, you know, and, and, and you can do that thing. So that allows those guys to rest, to catch their breath. And then you can put those guys back in. And that is something that is very beneficial for any defense is to be able to platoon. And a lot of defenses cannot do that. A lot of defenses do not have the defensive line depth to be able to do that. So, that is something that just catches my eye. That's something that I personally, as a as a varsity high school defensive line coach, I'm looking at. I'm looking at the fact that you know the game is one loss up front. All right, you can you can say what you want about oh he has this receiver and this running back and and this quarterback. I'm telling you right now, the game is one loss up front. And when you have the depth like that to be able to platoon um, a defensive line and you not lose that much um in in, in gameplay that it right there is a benefit to a team and that can help you to victory um so yeah man just let me know in the comment section what you think about the defensive line depth and am i seeing something that maybe is not there or am am i on to something man because we go uh probably nine ten deep at that defensive line um you add in a john kaminsky you know, and we're 10 deep at that D-line. Um, wow. So, really, it might be a plus instead of a question mark. So, just drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the depth of the defensive line and uh, it becoming a plus, a positive, that we're getting all these guys back from rehab. So, hey, man, but y'all know how I do it, man. I'm Coach Mike Jones, and, uh, you know, I go from the big house to four field. Go blue, one pride. I holla at y'all, man. To the house, I'm about to touch down. She's living lavish, so our shit is plushed out. Bellies big, but they full.